Alrighty then. So, hey guys, it's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. God is hot in here. It is so, so hot in here. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a foundation review video. Now, this foundation, I believe, is not a new foundation, but it is new to me. This is the first time I am ever even looking at it. It is a completely brand new foundation to me. I don't know how old it is, when it came out, I'm not sure on all that stuff, but it's new to me. I just got it into my collection, so I figured why not do a real slash first impression of how I like it. So, and I also have a primer to try with the foundation. Lancome did send me this, but this video is not sponsored. They were just nice enough to send me a gift as a thank you for making YouTube videos and we're just gonna go ahead and try it, but it's not sponsored. I might end up hating it, who knows. <laughs> the foundation that we are going to be trying today is the Lancome Tint A Dull Ultra Wear. That was, I know that was so wrong, <laughs> but this is what the foundation looks like. Let me zoom it up. So this is what the foundation looks like. So I'm gonna be reading it off my Sephora website because I don't have all the details with me. They have 40 different shades of the foundation, which that is freaking amazing. It's a medium coverage. It's for sensitive, normal, dry combination and oily skin. So pretty much any skin type can wear this foundation and it is it sets to have a matte finish. It's an oil-free, long-wearing liquid foundation, medium to full coverage leaves a natural looking velvety matte finish for up to 24 hours now i'm not going to be trying on this foundation for 24 hours just because it's pretty late it's 5 12 in the afternoon i started this video a little late but i had a ton of errands to run today as in my nails hey and so yeah we're just going to try it on for the rest of my day i do go to bed pretty late so i'm just going to try to have it on for as long as i possibly can this foundation also has a sunscreen an spf 15 which is awesome it makes it great for daytime wear and the shade that they sent me was 390 bisque when i went to the sephora website to just check the notes on the color that they sent me 390 has pink neutral undertones and that is not my undertone as you can see i am very yellow undertone but we're still going to try to make it work i'm still going to try to blend it down i'm going to start off by priming the skin with the perfecting makeup primer this is a smoothing one so i'm just going to take a little bit of this and apply and i'm just going to oh okay so it's like that silicone primer that we're used to you know how those smoothing primers kind of feel a little thicker and a little silicone-y it's kind of the same thing so far so good it did fill in my pores my face feels baby soft smooth so we're just gonna go ahead and get into the foundation oh I have to get up to wet my sponge we're gonna go ahead and take one pump at a time I want to see the coverage it does say that it's a medium coverage so I'm gonna do one pump of the foundation I want you guys to see it go into so one pump this is what it looks like might match me might not match me we shall see so I'm gonna start off with one pump and I'm gonna start with the beauty sponge I'm gonna do the left side of my face with the beauty sponge and then no my what my right your left yes 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 what is wrong with me so my right is going to be with the beauty sponge the left is going to be using my foundation brush recently i've been really into blood blush <laughs> into brush application for my foundations blush applications for my foundations that that is a rhyme. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm just going to go right in there, tap it a couple times, and apply. Okay, so this is one pump on half of my face using the Beauty Blender. And I used everything that I squirted, so one whole pump, on one half of my face, the first half of my face. It definitely is a medium coverage because it did cover a lot of the redness, as you can see comparing both sides, but I still see some of my imperfections. Can you tell? You can see my breakouts. You can still see a little bit of that redness, but it did cover 
most of it. Um, the color is a little bit off. It's a little bit pinkier where I'm a little bit yellow. I don't know if you can tell and I would go a shade lighter, not this dark. I'm going to go in with another pump and I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing and see if we can cover everything. Okay, so this is two pumps on this side of my face using the beauty sponge and I have to say that I am completely in love with it with two pumps I think this is the perfect coverage that I would go for because it still looks like me I can still even see some of my freckles but all of my imperfections are covered I do have some breakouts right here and right here that they have a scab over them so usually scabs are a little bit harder to cover up so I'm gonna just gonna take a little concealer brush and I'm just going to spot conceal those breakouts with the actual foundation. And I'm also going to just clean up my brows. And then I'll go in with the beauty sponge and lightly tap over them. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side of my face using the brush side. And let me get nice and up close so that you can see one side versus the other side. so both sides are done this side was using the sponge this side is using the brush and I have to say that the side with the brush this side looks a little bit more flawless than the side with the beauty blender because it just looks more full coverage it looks my um, that's the pores that I have on my cheeks on the side with the brush they look a little bit more blurred whereas the side with the sponge you can kind of see them a little bit more um as far as the finish goes my skin looks it looks healthy it doesn't look super matte but it doesn't look super glowy it's definitely not a matte finish at least on my skin like can you guys see that there's a glow to the foundation like i don't really see like a matte finish like it claims I do definitely see just like a natural looking skin because even with two layers you can still see some of my freckles and some of my natural birthmarks which I really really like I'm going to really quickly um, just finish the rest of my face I'm not going to set it with powder just because I want to see the longevity of this foundation without setting it with any powder the only thing that i'm going to set is my under eyes for my concealer and that is pretty much it so i will be back once my whole entire skin is done i'm going to do a super quick easy makeup and then um i'll be back to see what it's looking like my lipstick matches the little hat on dopey <laughs> Alrighty, so i went ahead and i quickly finished the rest of my skin it looks a pretty it looks a little intense like the under eyes and the blush and stuff but that's because i have no eye makeup on so it's like boom taking a good look at the skin now that it's somewhat finished the only thing that we're missing is the eyes it does look like i just applied it foundation does feel a little sticky on the areas where i did not set it but it still looks pretty flawless on the areas where we applied bronzer highlight and all of that and everything glided on perfectly there was nothing that applied splotchy or anything like that so yeah i'm going to go ahead and wear this for the rest of my night it is currently six o'clock now so i'll try to see if i can wear it for like around 12 30 ish because today is friday and i do go to bed really late so yeah let's see how it holds up it is currently 12.03 at night time. I started this makeup at 5. By the time that I was finished talking and doing my whole entire face, it was 6 o'clock. So I've had the makeup on. By the way, the lights are really, really bright. <laughs> um, and I don't have all of my lights on. So anyways, I've had the makeup on for 6 hours already. And I wish I could have worn it for a little bit longer. But I am so ready to get to bed. So let's take a peek at what i am seeing so i'm definitely a little bit shiny 
in the forehead area. I did not set the foundation. I left it as is. I only set my under eyes and I apply a little bit of powder right here just to kind of chisel out my cheeks. So I am a little oily right in the forehead area. It does look a little cakey around the nose area, like around this area of my face, but that is where mostly all of my foundations tend to go wrong. The cheeks, the blush, the contour, everything is intact. Like if I had just done it, it's still nice and bright and it looks really smooth, which I really, really like. So this is the foundation, really nice and up close. See my nose, it's a tad bit patchy and creasing a little bit. Can you see the creasing? But other than that, it looks pretty good. And I had dinner, well, I had sushi, but I guess it was like a messy meal, but it's still looks good. Other than that, I think it looks really, really good. And I would recommend the foundation. I think it's a great foundation. I'm definitely going to continue to play with it a little bit more, tweak it here and there and see how I like it. I might even go ahead and purchase a lighter shade, like a shade that actually matches me because this one is a little bit too, like, you guys, compared to my, let, let me, let me get up a little bit. <laughs> compared to my chest, it's it's a little dark um so i'm excited to try it in my actual shade i think it's going to be a great foundation i love the coverage of it i love the finish i definitely do need to set it because it did make me a little bit oily in the forehead but it looked like a healthy glow it wasn't even like too much oil it was just like a healthy looking skin so that is pretty much it you guys that was everything for today's video please let me know in the comments what other products you guys want me to try? I'm sorry if I'm like at a weird angle. I am sitting on my foot just so that I can be taller because I am a petite little mama. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what do you want to see next from my channel? What products you guys want me to review? Just let me know. Let me know down in the comments. And that is pretty much it. So I love you. Thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel, and share the video with all of your family, friends, loved ones, and everybody on the internet. <laughs> so thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Mwah.